Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Keys Comic Market Watch. Um, today I'm making another video of that five uh, box haul of horror comics that I had gotten. I only did one video for one of the boxes, now I'm doing a second one. Um, I was supposed to do it all in one day, but it just, I've been so busy, so please forgive me you guys. But um, alright, let's get on with this because it could be a long video just like the first one. So... Um, and by the way, I hope everyone's doing okay. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Thank you for just watching my videos. And um, so let's get on with it, okay? All right. So the first one is uh, 30 Days and Nights Annual 2004. And I got to say, I like that cover, okay? <laughs> it's a pretty good cover, right, you guys? It's interesting. Well, anyways, on to the next one. Uh, 30 Days and Nights Annual 2005. Uh, I would say it's, uh, it's an okay cover. Uh, it's alright. Alright, let's see what's next. 30 Days and Night Return to the Barrio. Issue number one. Now that cover is interesting. Um, the red looks like it kind of like, um, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like that, uh, shiny shiny red like it's it's not like regular red it's kind of shiny i don't know if you could tell it's that glossy red and then we got 30 days of night return to the bar row number two i will say this box is mostly all 30 days of nights most of it because i looked through it but it's got some interesting covers though i will say that that one's real interesting 30 Days of Nights Return to Borrow number 3. Very dark covers, like white and black, basically. Most most of them with a little splash of the red. Uh, have you noticed that? Look at this one. See? Same thing. And that's issue number 4 right here. Alright, on to the next one. 30 Days of Nights Return to the Borrow number 5. You see? Still black and white with the splash of red. That one's pretty interesting. It's like basically that's just a neck. You see it? That's the ear with the hair and there go the neck. The neck bite. You know, the bites. So, yeah. And then we got number six. Don't need to talk about the condition because all of y'all know I already talked in the first video about the condition of all these books, which is pretty amazing. 30 Days of Night Blood, Blood Sucker Tales. <laughs> eh, it's an okay cover. It's interesting. 30 Days of Night Blood Sucker Tales number two. Number two, yeah. Number two. Now that's a better cover. I like that one. This this one though, nah. I'm not. I guess because I, you know, I'm not a clown dude, so I'm not into clowns. But uh, Thirty Days of Night Blood Sucker Tales number three. Interesting cover. Kind of reminds me of Logan, right? With the hat and the cigarette and the glasses. Yeah, reminds me of Wolverine. And that's issue number four. Yeah, it's an okay cover. It's not my thing. Uh, 30 Days of Night Blood Sucker Tales number 5. Just said, they really stick it to the black and white with the red. And of course, number 6. Yeah, number 6. I will say this. Um, have you ever seen the movie? It was a, it was a good movie. I actually liked it. Um, it was different. You know what I'm saying? It was some that, I mean, it, it was interesting. I will say that. <laughs> Issue number seven, Thirty Days of Night, Blood Sucker Tales, and number eight. I have to read this eventually because. 
I definitely liked the movie. The movie, it was an interesting premise, you know, to it. So I knew it, the way they left it at the end of the movie was so they could make another one. Um, but for some reason they haven't done it yet. I don't know why. Um, or maybe they did make one and it just didn't do nothing. I, I don't remember, but I definitely was waiting for the next one to come out because, like I said, they left it open on the last movie. So um, 30 Days of Night, Dead Space, number one. I actually like that cover. That cover's pretty interesting. Let's see it. So much gloss from the, the bag. Alright, and then number two. I like that cover. Like I said, I'm not a big horror person, but if you make a good horror movie, I'ma like it. But problem is They've done almost everything, so what else could they do? I mean, it's kind of hard to think of some new stuff when you done did it all. So, 30 Days of Night, Dead Space, number three. You could tell just by the horror movies that's been coming out lately that they're kind of running out of ideas. I mean, they really are. Uh, 30 Days of Night, Spreading the Disease, number one. It's a pretty good cover, number two, of course. All right. Spreading the disease, number three. Don't like that cover. I do like this one, though. I like the colors. You know, it's black and white and red, but it's kind of grayish. Like, I don't know, it's like a purple grayish. To me, I don't know if you could really tell, but I like it. I'm a sucker for some colors. Like I really like colors in comics. Like if they, if the colors like really stick out, I love it. Uh, Thirty Days Night Spring the Disease number, number. Hold up, is this out of order? Number five. Okay, is that number? Uh, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah like the colors on that one too. Alright, uh, number 30 Days of Night. Eben and Stella. Eben and Stella. Interesting cover. Hmm. I wonder if they're supposed to be fighting each other or something. And Eben and Stella number two. Is that supposed to be done when they're not with that, you know, that face right here? Is that is that dumb? What you guys think? Is that dumb? I never read this, so I don't know, but it, I guess it's dumb. Eh, who knows? But anyways, on to the next. Uh, okay. Issue number three. And issue number four. Hmm. I, got, I got so much reading to do, you guys. <laughs> Uh, 30 Days a Night Beyond the Borrow, number one. Duh. I like those colors. Like, that's, the covers can make a, 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 I mean, colors can make a cover. That's what I meant to say. Colors make a cover. Mm, yeah. Colors can make a cover. Look at that. Nice colors. Looks Uh, let's see, we got 30 Days of Night Beyond the Bar Row, number three. Hmm. Eh. I guess, I don't know, is that supposed to be some eyes right there, you see that? Under the snow, I guess. He's walking on top of the snow, I don't know. I guess I gotta like really look at it for a while to, to really get the grasp of it. 30 Days of Night, Red Snow. Issue number one. And issue number two. All right. 30 Days of Night, Red Snow. Number three. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he has the 
like the Russian, the Russian symbol in his mouth. So I guess what that's they supposed to be in Russia, red snow. And thirty days a night source book. So I'm definitely gonna have to read this. Like I might have to read this before I even read any other stuff. Like just to get a grasp of what's going on. Good thing there is a source book in this collection, cause all I will go off of is the movie, and I'm pretty sure the comics probably ain't got the same characters as the movie, so, um, 30 days a night, 30 days till death, but I might be wrong, uh, let's see, what's this, issue number one, interesting cover, bondage cover basically, yeah, with him just looking like he just finished eating someone and he's about to eat her up too, so, and then number two, just a bunch of skeletons with the can't even say those are worms those are like millipedes I don't know whatever the hell they are on to the next 30 days a night 30 days till death issue 3 yeah he about to he about to go man ape on him like for real look at that he about to just cut him up and they don't even suspect nothing look at that mm. Imagine you're one of these people right here. Like, imagine if you're that little boy right there. And imagine, like, all of a sudden, blood just squirts on you. You turn around and see a headless father. And then you see everyone else screaming. Can you imagine that? Like, that'd be crazy, right? Yeah. Crazy. I have to read this eventually. Like I said, 30 days till death. Number four. Interesting cover. All right. Oh, man. Okay. So, no more 30 days and nights. Okay, that's it. <laughs> oh, no. It is 30 days and nights. Oh, my God. But the X Files 30 days and night. Uh, number one. Okay. X Files 30 days and night. Now, you know what? I was never a big X Files uh, fan of the show, but um, I know I've seen plenty of episodes to know the characters very well. But um, I'm intrigued. I gotta read this now. Like I really gotta read this just just because. Like I want to know how they tied this in together. So uh, and we got number two. Hmm. I had to read this, like for real. I didn't even know they did something like that. Alright, so we got X Files 30 Days a Night number three. And number four. Like how would they survive no man. I gotta read it. I'm not gonna say nothing else about it. <laughs> uh number five. Number six. I'm just trying to speed it along because, you know, it's so many books. It's, I don't want to make another 30-minute video. I'm trying to cut it down to at least 20 minutes. Uh, let's see. 30 Days a Night. Uh, that's really Seeking Vamp? No. 30 Days a Night. Okay. Just the regular 30 Days a Night. Number one. Okay. Here we go. And then we got issue number two. Now, I like that cover. That's pretty tight. I like that. All right, then we got number three. Interesting, interesting. Number four. Number five. And number six. Number seven. Hmm. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number 11. Hmm? Number 
12. I like that cover. I like it. Definitely. All right, 30 days a night, night again, number one. All right. Number two. I like that cover. <laughs> It says slurp, slurp right there. Look, slurp, slurp. <laughs> I like that. And then, of course, you got the other person right there. Look, he's right there eating the leg. And look at that. I'm going to say this about... um. I, it's like a little... No, nah, I'm not even going to do the rant right now. I'll do it later. 30 days a night, night again, number three. Got so many things on my mind that I want to talk about, but... um. I know this video is going to be so long, so I need to cut it short, so I'll do my rant on my next video. Just come to the next video, because I'm about to make that. I'm about to make that, so. Conquest of the Planet of the Living Dead, number one. All right. Then we got Tales from the Crap. I guess... I don't know what number it is. I guess it was just a free book. I guess I don't know. Free comic book day. Fur bar. Fur bar. I don't know what that's about. But if you put it in here with the horror books, there's got to be a horror book of some kind. Uh, image. Let's see. Image Comics. Uh, Chin Music. Chin Music. Number one. Don't know what the hell that's about. And number two. All right. On to a new one. Let's see. We got Criminal Macamore. Criminal Macamore. Hmm. Okay. I don't know who that is. But this person that he's with in the next issue. Right here. I definitely know who that is. The Goon. So, yeah. So, I'm going to have to read this too. Just to see what, what, what they're doing together. Uh, Criminal Magamore, No Peace for Dead Men. I don't know who this character is. Gotta find out. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section who he is. Issue number, let's see, Change, you could believe in him. So these, The Fight by Night. Okay, so these are all one shots. Alright. Hack Slash, Son of Samaya. Samayan? Samayan. Number one. Don't know what that's about. All right, we got issue number two. Issue number three. I like that cover. Issue number four. Issue number five. I really do like this cover, though. I just like the, how it looks. The colors to it also, like... I don't know, I really like this book. Good. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Alright. Hack and Slash 13 Tales of Naked Fear. Tra Hack and Slash Trailers Part 2. 64 pages, so I'll take this as a one shot. Nice cover. Almost naked. Almost. Uh, let's see, hack and slash cover A. We he worshipped the ground he buried her in. Interesting. Uh, I don't know nothing about hack and slash, but we got. So I guess that's hack and slash. My first maniac number four. Hold up. Okay, let, let me do this because it's out of order. Okay, here we go. I got it in order. Okay, Hack and Slash, my first maniac, number one. Like the cover. Definitely like that cover. Number two. Nice cover also. Uh, number three. I definitely like this cover. What you guys think? Number four. Think of that. That cover right there. I like it. 
All right, you guys. Let's see. Army of Darkness versus Hack and Slash. Oh, okay. So now, you know, that man right there, that's the man. <laughs> I don't know if you read Army of Darkness, <laughs> but I've read Army of Darkness before, and yeah. That's the man. Plus, you know, it's based off the show. You know what show I'm talking about, you guys. If y'all know, y'all know. Y'all don't, y'all need to do y'all research. But y'all should know who that man is with the chainsaw. You should know who that is. Especially if you're into the geek culture, you know, comic book culture, geeks. You know, you like all that stuff. You should know who that is. Uh, Army of Darkness versus Hack and Slash. And if you don't know, you need to find out because you're missing out. I will say that. Number four. Number five. Interesting cover. Like it. I like it. Number six. Okay, Hack and Slash, Hack Slash Eva, Monsters Ball Part 1 of 4, okay. Pretty nice cover, well, I like it. Pretty nice cover, I wonder who did that cover. Hmm, okay. No name on there? Oh man, who did that? Looks nice. Alright, number 2. Number three. I like these covers. And number four. Oh my god, I got so much reading to do, you guys. It's crazy. Because I'm so interested just off the covers, you know. Hack it slash. Annual number three. Old school American horror versus comic book horror hunter. Okay. Interesting cover. And hack slasher nail biter. Don't know what that's about. Let's see. What is she saying anyway? Hey, Warren, I've got a nail for you to bite. Oh, okay. Because she got the nails on the back. You see it? Ah. All right. Ooh, look at that one that's pointing right at his face. Mm. That would hurt. Mm. God dang. Alright. Bomb Queen versus Hack Slash. I'm really digging these covers. You know, I love women so much. It's, it's my weakness, so. It is what it is. You know? And hack and slash me without you. One shot. Now, that really looks like someone. Who is that? That did that cut? That, that is not telling me. Man, this is an awesome cover. I like it. Look at it. I'm like, I really like it. Mm. All right, you guys. On to hack and slash meets. Zombie versus cheerleader. All right. This is like we crossing over everything. <laughs> All right, hack and slash number one. All right. All right, hack and slash number two. Love the colors on this. Uh, issue number three, hack and slash. I'm going to tell you right now, the first thing I'm going to read is hack and slash. <laughs> like, just the covers got me like, I got to read this. Because if the art looks as good as the covers, I'm going to be hooked. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to want to read everything. So, because look at number four. Look at this cover. Like, I really like the colors to it. And it's just, whoever drew this, drew it very nice. I like it. Oh man, hack and slash. In fact, after I read it, best believe I'm gonna do a review on it. Cause I gotta let you guys know if it's worth even, you know, reading. 
Hack and Slash, The Return of Phantomaw, Phantomaw, Mercy Woman of the Jungle. Man, it's going to be a lot of Hack and Slash. I'm going to have to read. Hack and Slash. Hmm. Okay. Issue 6. Okay. So that was Issue 5. Okay. Issue 5. That's Issue 6. Okay. Ah, that's what it is. All right. Hack and Slash 7. If anybody knows about Hack and Slash, leave a comment. Let me know. Let me know what, what you think about it. Okay? Because these are some awesome covers. I, 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 I like these. I love the colors. I like the way the person's drawn the, the females. And I just love all of it. Like, it just looks awesome. Like, I don't know if you can really see this cover. But you see this big giant, like, octopus thing right there coming at them. It's a really nice cover. I like this. I'm going to have to really read this. Image Comics be making some nice artwork. They be having the, some of the best artists a lot of times. So, Hack and Slash number nine. Number ten. All right. Number eleven. You know what? Number 12. I might not even have time to make that next video. I might start reading this right away. Like, for real. I'm, I'm very intrigued. Like, I'm very, very intrigued. Number 13. I wish I knew exactly what order I need to read it in. But, uh, I, I'm going to just wing it. I'll just start off with the hack and slash. Just regular stuff. Number 1. Uh, issue number 20. Man, I'm glad he has the full run in here, you know, so I can read it all and not skip a beat. Number. Look at that cover. Hmm. I'm not even into horror books, but this might change my mind. Uh, number. Uh, issue 17. Eighteen. I like that. Issue number nineteen. Look at that. That's tight. That's supposed to be the water. That's tight. I like that. All right, issue number twenty. Ha. Ah, that's tight. That's like uh, the. Janet Jackson homage thing, but uh, instead of him using his hands, he's using the swords to cover up her titties. <laughs> That's tight. I like that. It's different. Different. Uh, number 21. Oh, he done killed all the other three, I guess. Mm. Number 22. Interesting. Interesting. 23. I really like this cover. Just look at that. Look at the colors and just I like that cover. That cover is really nice. Dang. All right. Number 24 25 Oh man, so I guess that was the end right there. 25. Ugh. I got 25 issues to read, not including all the crossover stuff. Man. Whew. All right, final, the 30 Days of Night, uh, Criminal McNodge, Final Night, the 30 Days of Night crossover, number one of four. Okay. All right, number two of four. All right, three of four. Number four, four. All right, we got criminal. I can't say his name. So, the third child, issue number one. I don't know what the hell he's about, but two or four, three or four. And I will say I like this 
the best one, the number four. Cause I like this cover. I like that red. That red is I like this cover. So that's it, you guys, for this video. I'm gonna say that uh, I'm really interested in this box now. Like this box right here got me the most interested, but this cover right here, I have to end with this cover right here. Like I really like this cover. Like you guys. If you guys know about Hack and Slash, you gotta leave me some comments. Tell me something about it. Because I am so intrigued right now, you guys. Like, I really like this cover. It's something about it. Like, reminds me of Freddy Cougar a little bit, but I don't know. I just like how the the colors to it are and the way he drew it. I just, I really like it. So, that's it for, you, for today for that box right there. That's the second box. Um, join me for my next video if I make it right now <laughs> but anyways um like subscribe hit that little little ringy thing thing that's right there the thingy thing thing so that way you can get updates right away of any videos that I make and like 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 and what else can I say but uh thank you guys I appreciate all you guys and I'll uh, see you at the next video